Alright guys, we are once again back with another video about the just current state of Call of Duty and how it is in just complete shambles. So, uh, I actually got some bullet points here for the video. I'm going to start doing this. That way my videos are more concise and y'all actually understand what I'm saying. So, Modern Warfare 3. We got some stuff to discuss. This game is going to be complete garbage. Okay, so, starting off, the code for the game, the code for the game is almost line for line exactly the same as MW2, meaning all the bugs, all the balancing issues will still be there, all of the movement bugs, you know, how they wanted to fix movement, that way we couldn't slide cancel anymore and be, that way, you know, people couldn't just be some Adderall snoring 12 year old kid going, oh, look at me, look how good I am. You know, like those kids, yeah. Same bugs are going to be there. Don't get your hopes up for the game being any better than it is now. Um, it's just, it, it's awful, it's terrible. Why are they reusing so much old code? If it's going to be the most advanced Call of Duty ever, it's exactly the same as MW2. See, this is what I mean, y'all. So that's that that's point one out of let's see here five. That's point one out of five. Right? That's the code. So we got our second point here, the SBMM. We've been complaining about this for the last what, four years now? And Activision still won't listen. You know, when you have a good game and all of a sudden you're playing in the sweatiest lobbies you've ever seen in your entire life. You know, those lobbies, yeah, you have skill based matchmaking to blame for that. So, <clears throat> and keep in mind, keep in mind, um, Modern Warfare 2019, you guys know, I have Damascus on there. It took me a year and a half to get it. Actually, over that. You know why it took me over a year and a half to get it? I'll tell you. Because the SBMM, I would get plat in a weapon class. I'd be doing really good with that weapon class. Switch to a different one. And when I started on that one, I was shadow banned. So I was playing against cheaters. Many of those streams were me playing against cheaters. And it was all thanks to the SBMM. But if SBMM makes the game balanced, why do legit players get placed against cheaters? So that's that point gone. Balancing. If you think they're not going to mess up the balancing in that game, just you wait. Just you wait. The Tech 9. That's all I have to say. All I have to say is the Tech 9. Or I'm sorry, what is it? The F Tech Siege is what they called it in MW2. The F Tech Siege. Wow. Took them like two seasons to finally nerf it. After they sold a bunch of bundles and made a bunch of money from selling those bundles with the Tech 9, then they nerf it and fix it. You know, they're releasing fully automatic shotguns, one hit, one kill pistols, you know, a fully automatic Desert Eagle for some reason. But, you know, people are out here going, this game is balanced, this game is fine, there's nothing wrong with it, just use this gun. The new, um, the MP5 SD that they just brought out on there. There's a one, there's, there's a one burst setup for that gun, where one burst of three rounds is enough to kill somebody. That's not how it should work. Why do we have SMGs where you can use one burst and get a kill? Why do we have pistols that used to one hit from across the map? You know, why do we have marksman rifles that one hit and have an instant ADS? Why do people not get banned for cheating? Why is it openly encouraged? Why? And then that's not even that's not even going into the servers, right? Let's let's talk about that real quick too. Anyone remember uh, how the servers were just kind of on fire for a couple months, right? On MW2, a couple months you just couldn't even log into the game. Most people couldn't. You couldn't log into the game. Couldn't party up with friends. Couldn't play Warzone or DMC or whatever they wanted to play. 
Yeah, that's because their servers are on fire and they won't invest to fix them. They're constantly getting DDoSed. And they just don't care. They do not care. And, you know, our last thing here kind of wraps it up. You know, broken promises. Yeah. They promised us a working game with MW2, with Vanguard, with Cold War, with M um, MW 2019. All these games, they've all they they've promised that, that it would work. They promised us that it would work on day one, and it didn't. None of them did. Vanguard is one of the worst Call of Duties we've ever had, and that's saying a lot because we had Infinite Warfare. But people are still going to pre-order the Vault Edition of MW3. You know, some of the most die-hard Call of Duty fans I talk to even say, Yeah, this new one's not good. MW2, it sucks. It's not fun at all. You know, and these are die-hard fans. So, what's that say? What does that say about the current state of Call of Duty? It's terrible. It's trash. It's awful. Nothing works the way it should. I just, I don't understand why people are okay with this. Is this really how low our standards have gotten? I mean, it's just... It's wild. It's ridiculous. We were supposed to have a story mode... Or a campaign DLC for MW2. And that ain't even happened, so... Guess we're just gonna wrap it up here. Because there ain't much more to talk about. Other than just, it's gonna be a disappointment. So with that being said... I hope you all liked the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share it with people who you think would be interested. I'll catch you later. Peace out.